Hey everyone, this is Gary from Honey Bees Unlimited. I uh, just uh, thought we'd go through a little quick run through of uh, grading bees for pollination. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Martel and Mike. Uh, to, uh, Mike's my partner, my brother, and uh, Martel's a family friend. He works full time with us. So with three of us, we, we, we do most of this together. Hey Martel, can you, uh, can you show us how you grade these bees? All right, Gary. We're gonna check the bottom box first. I'm gonna tilt it for you. So it looks like we got one, one, two, three, probably four, a good solid four frames of bees on the bottom. Bottom box, the right. chamber. I'll check the top box now. Top box, oh, I want to say that's probably five frames of bees. Five frames of bees. Five frames of bees, so that makes a total of nine. Nine, very strong, hive. Awesome. Grading another, Gary. We've got them smoked, we're tilting. And, oh, uh, not so great. Maybe two frames. Nice and quiet, but that's a, yeah, that's an odd one. Yeah, that one looks like it needs to be downgraded. So what we're probably maybe talking three, four frames tops in this. Right, yeah. So, so we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and reduce this down to one box and then regrade them. Anything that doesn't, uh, is uh, under four frames, we're gonna go ahead and pinch that queen. And if it's got, Four frames or more, they still need some work, so we're gonna go find a weaker one that we pinched and add to them. So if we can take a four and turn it into a seven or an eight, we'll be right in our ballpark. Thank you, Martel. All right, you're welcome, Gary. Okay, so now I've reduced this one. We were just looking at it with Martel. Now we can go down and look. Got to get one, two, three, four frames of bees. She's got a decent brood pattern. So we're not going to give up on her and merge her. We're going to find somebody else to come merge with them. Okay, so one of the things we didn't emphasize is when you're grading these hives, you want to you want to look at the bottom of the frames up. I mean, that's the only way you're going to see if there's bees on each side of the frames. And and we talk about a frame of bees, that means one frame covered front to back with bees. It's not total frames in the hive bodies. So um, that's real important. And um, yeah, cause you don't want to grade from the top because it's very dis deceiving sometimes you'll open it up on a sunny day and they might all be up at the top on the warmth and it looks like you got eight ten frames of bees up there and you, and you look in the bottom and there's like two so always look from the bottom up don't don't look from the top down hey thanks for joining us today you know i hope you like this stuff um it's dawned on me now that uh this channel's starting to get a little traction i need to put out a um introduction some sort let you know what we're all about what we're trying to do here i mean we're barely commercial beekeepers and we've been at it full time for three years now um beekeeping a little bit longer than that but um we just want to show you guys you know you sideliners or small scale guys ready to step it up you know maybe uh give you a resource for how to scale things up and and get going uh, with commercial i mean none of us are generational beekeepers i mean we have to learn this all as we go we didn't have our fathers to to let us know how what we're doing we're just making it up as we go and by no means we're not experts, so uh, we have a lot to learn. So, you know, I'll show you what we're doing. And, and please, uh, if you think there's a better way, let me know in the comments. And if you like it, what you're seeing, please subscribe. We'd uh, love it, it'll help us out a lot. Y'all have a good day. Last thing, you know, if beekeeping was easy, everybody would be doing it.